She was coming here every night and we would do jigsaw puzzles and we would talk or we'd go out thrift shopping and, you know, things seemed kind of normal except for that she didn't have a job and she was getting short-term disability and so she, her rent was being paid and, you know, her biggest fear was being homeless and not being, you know, a productive person in life. It we sat right here in the living room and started doing this 1,000 piece puzzle with mostly pink in it and she liked it, it was called God and with a wind. And um, we started it and it was, you know, 10.30 at night and we're still working on this puzzle and I, I got tired, I had to go to work in the morning and she went home. Yeah, she was quiet, should I have given her that extra hug before she left, you know? Told her how much I loved her, told her, you know, all those things, the, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas that go on in your life. You know, I, yeah, it's something I live with, but I don't think that the extra hug would have helped her that night. Um, she went out that day and bought a gun. She bought a gun and her intentions were to end her pain that mm -hmm. night. It, she, did she did it that night, you think, mm -hmm. after the... After well, she came home? you know, the night, it was the 10th, it would have been after midnight when she would have gotten home and and she parked her car in the carport just like she always does and hung up her coat and, you know, walked into her bedroom. I wrote a post on Facebook trying to explain and trying to help people understand because I didn't want anybody to blame themselves. Um, so I, I tried to make, help people understand that, um, that the reason why she did this was because pain and, and that it didn't have to be that way. Um, I use a hashtag of there is always hope a lot, um, because if you don't have hope, you have to have hope. There is no tomorrow. And, you know, as bad as things seem, they can get better. So I still cry. Um, I mean, I'm a mom, and that love is pretty strong. She was my only daughter, my, my first child. Um, so I cry. Her mission in life was to make other people have a purpose in life and you know I guess I've taken that on and I want people to understand that there's hope and there's help all they have to do is ask don't be afraid they're not alone are there things that family people should be doing absolutely yeah yeah um, I mean listening you know if, if somebody needs to talk just listen you don't have to agree with them or, you know, just be compassionate about what you're hearing. I try to honor her memory in everything that I do because that's all I have. I, I don't have her. And so I go in my room that I have that's uh, all her stuff in it and, you know, talk to her sometimes. Mm -hmm.